Welcome to Techie Chat. Today I'm taking a look at the latest version of Bunsen Labs Linux, which is called Poron, and it was released on the 24th of January this year. This Linux based distribution differentiates itself from others by utilizing Openbox as its window manager, and it also bases itself on Debian 12 Bookworm, which is a long term support release that features the Linux 6.1 kernel. So if you were to use this dis distribution as it's a long-term support release, you can expect system updates up to December 2026 before having to consider an upgrade. So if we take a look at the release notes for Boron, we can see that the team have tried to create a ready-made open box desktop experience and it uses the Numex icon theme, a modern appearance with rounded windows, which is mainly thanks to the PyCom compositor that's included with this distribution. Plus they have their own theme switcher, which can switch out the entire theme of the desktop and they call it Blob. Now, when you first install uh, when you first install Bunsen Labs Linux, you do get a welcome script. So let's take a look at that now. So this is the script that appears when you first log into Bunsen Labs Boron Linux. <clears throat> and it's a pretty nice, easy to use script. Uh, you literally just pop in your password once and then it goes off and starts the process. And it asks you each step of the way. So this first step is really running a standard apt-get update and then it upgrades the installed packages as well. It then runs a system tweak, uh, check to see if there's any updates for your system, um, an apt update checker, Debian backports and Bunsen Lab backports. Uh, those will give you things like access to the latest application updates. Debian backports give you newer releases of applications taken from the next release of Debian and Bunsen's own backports as well. We're going to ignore the Java support there and we're going to take a look now at the development packages that we can install. I won't be installing them, it's just really to take a look to see what the script could install. So the first thing is it can install version control tools. Um, so these are a selection of tools for version control. Uh, LAMP stack for Apache 2 web server with PHP scripting support and MySQL support. Uh, Debian packaging tools if you're planning to build packages uh, specifically for Debian. And that's kind of it really. Uh, once you've gone through that, the script announces you're finished. Um, thank you for selecting Bunsen Labs. Um, and if you do need to run this script again, it's quite a useful script, then you just open up a terminal and type bl-welcome and it will launch the script again. So once all that's done and your system is up to date and ready for use, Let's uh, move on to taking a look at the open box menu itself. So in an open box window manager, you can right click on the desktop or press the windows key and it will bring up the system menu. We'll just take a quick look at Firefox now and we can see that it's 115.7 extended support release. This version doesn't contain the latest features, but it does have up to date security. Um, and system updates. So even though we've got Conkey System Monitor in the top right corner, let's launch HTOP and have a closer look at what is happening under the hood in terms of memory and CPU usage. So you can see uh, with Firefox running, um, we are running actually uh, just over a gig of RAM, but then with Firefox closed, we're just under a gig of RAM. And I can say, um, because I needed to type something up on this system and I had Firefox open, LibreOffice Writer, um, three or four tabs and I was still only using 1.5 gig of RAM. So barely touching the CPU on this old W520 ThinkPad. 
As you can see, basic tiling works out of the box here using the super key plus the arrow key. We'll just uh, move that around, move that about. Um, let's take a look now at the theme manager. Now, the theme manager, as I mentioned before, is called Blob. Now, I'm guessing that Blob stands for Bunsen Labs and Openbox. Um, it's quite an unusual name. Um, so I'm guessing Bunsen Labs and Openbox put together makes Blob. <laughs> um, so if we uh, just have a look at that, View Saved Blobs. Um, there is a nicely put together collection of themes here with screenshots. And what this will do will alter the entire look and feel of the desktop, including the open box, plus panels, terminals, icons, etc. And you can take a closer look uh, or a closer preview of each of the blob themes. Uh, and that's just by clicking on preview. Uh, once you've found uh, something you like out of these uh, blob themes, so if we just close that, once you've found something that you'd like, then you just click on that theme, click on apply, um, and what you should see is that this will then change the entire look and feel, as I said, um, including including the uh, open box as well it should change the entire look and feel of the desktop so we just click um, on what configs that applies to and there we go so we've just applied that i'll pop in my password so pretty easy to do you'll notice that the memory usage on changing that theme went up slightly now i'm running at just over a gig um, i'm assuming that maybe the wallpaper is um, maybe slightly higher resolution slightly larger in size uh, so perhaps that's pushed the ram uh, up a bit or maybe some settings on the tint 2 panel down below here uh, has caused the um, increase in memory usage there all right, so we can also set the wallpaper. Now the wallpaper is set via an application called Nitrogen. And Nitrogen really is a very easy to use uh, wallpaper switcher. You get a few um, wallpapers with, with this release. Um, not too many, to be honest. However, it is fairly easy to add your own wallpapers via the preferences under Nitrogen or indeed add your own folder uh, with your own pictures in. So pretty easy to do if you wanted to change the uh, wallpaper there. <clears throat> so we'll just take a look at some of the lighter uh, wallpapers uh, here. Um, so we'll just uh, try this one. And you can see actually that the Tint 2 panel down below uh, really is uh, quite transparent and that's part of uh, the setting within Blob, uh, the Blob theme manager, that's what that's done. That's changed um, the transparency level on the panel, the Tint 2 panel uh, down there. Now, I quite like that uh, wallpaper in the background. I think it's quite interesting. So we'll we'll stick with that one for the, uh, for the time being. Under system settings uh, in the system menu, there's also some recommended or user favorite packages that can be installed quickly without having to utilize the Synaptic uh, package manager that also comes with this distribution. So there's a nice small array of standard apps here um, that you can see and they're all fairly easy to install. To change the default apps, uh, you want to use then you can use the G alternatives application and this really enables you to change uh, the default applications used by the system so uh, for example if you wanted to change the file manager you could do that within the G alternatives um, application actually talking of uh, file manager um, We'll just uh, take a look at the file manager now. 
and you can see that the file manager that's supplied with uh, this release is something called Thunar. Um, Thunar is really a straightforward uh, no, th no frills file manager, very light on resource. Um, so yeah, it, it, it does the job. Um, it's not it's not um, it's not got that many uh, advanced features to it, but it, it it'll do the job. Um, and certainly, as I've been using this system, uh, I've found it to be more than functional. So scanning through the Openbox system menu here, I can see there is help and resources. So let's take a look at tutorials now and that will launch Firefox and will take you to the forum.buntonlabs.org uh, where there are some uh, tutorials. Now there are also a lot of other tutorials included in the help and resources menu that are very useful uh, particularly if you're new to Openbox or to uh, Bunsen Labs uh, Linux. However I did find uh, and my personal opinion this is that the Bunsen Labs uh, getting started section in particular wasn't so user friendly. It looked to me a bit like a bug tracker as opposed to a friendly kind of getting started uh, screen. However, there are some uh, useful articles in here if you dig around. So um, they also have articles there for older releases of Bunsen Labs as well. And I think perhaps that's where I found it a little confusing because it was referring to older releases of uh, Bunsen Labs that are out there. So again, uh, just looking through the applications installed uh, on Bunsen Labs Boron, um, you can see there are loads and loads of uh, applications here. Um, actually, if we run INXI, uh, we can get a little bit more in depth. So you can see that the kernel that is running is 6.1.0.17 Linux kernel. Uh, we are, of course, running an x86.64 uh, architecture. Uh, you can see the open box version is 3.61. The uh, Tint 2 panel is running. And as well, uh, we've looked at this before, the Light DM, the Light Display Manager 1.26 version. And as we, I've said before, this is Debian 12. Uh, so this is Debian 12, the um, stable release. OK, so let's now go back to the um, theme manager blob uh, and we're going to change the theme back to the default theme that came with Bunsen Labs Boron and I believe that was Boron Aqua uh, so let's just set that now apply the selected theme yeah um, we're going to keep those to default click OK and there we are we're back to the default theme I'm just going to Put my password in there. All right, so uh, here we are back to the default that you get. Um, let's just quit the blob theme manager. Okay, so I think that Bunsen Labs Boron has a lot going for it, and due to it being based on Debian 12, it may not have support for some of the very latest hardware out there. So for example, I haven't seen any tests with uh, Debian 12 running on an Intel generation 14 or 13 CPU, for example. But there are reports out there of uh, Debian 12 on uh, Gen 11 and Gen 12 CPUs, and they seem to have positive reports. Now for this laptop that I'm testing from, the ThinkPad W520, which is now a 15 year old laptop, uh, this release works absolutely perfectly. In fact, I think for older laptops and older desktops, this is probably a very good version of Linux to run. So all of the uh, ThinkPad hardware specific keys, they work including the separate uh, volume buttons, uh, the sleep and hibernate are all fine. It all feels very fast and snappy. As you can see here, things launch uh, very quickly. The Bunsen Lab specific tools like Blob for themes and the welcome script also make the experience a lot easier for those new to Openbox, as well as all the help and resources that are available within 
the operating system as well. So as a gentle introduction to Openbox, you know, it's actually pretty good. In fact, you know, if you're wanting to try a lightweight window manager like Openbox, but perhaps uh, you feel a bit intimidated by the normal text-based configuration that you have to uh, go into to get your system menu working correctly in Openbox, then perhaps Bunsen Labs Boron um, is the OS for you. Um, whilst it's not quite the lightest of lightweight desktops out there, um, it's there or thereabouts. So this has been my review of the latest release of Bunsen Labs Linux version Boron. I hope you have enjoyed it. Don't forget, if you would like to support the channel, you can donate via Buy Me A Coffee. And the URL to that is ko-fi.com forward slash techiechap. And you can also find the link on the channel page. Otherwise, thanks for watching. I look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you.